Thanks for staying with us now in business news. The House of Representatives Committee on Finance has raised concerns over rising cost of crude oil production amidst low output and reduced revenue to the federal government for over a decade. Chairman of the committee, James Farrake, raised the concern in an opening remark at a meeting with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, NNPCL, on the impact of crude oil production on government revenue. Honorable Farrake said it was important for Nigerians to understand the impact of production cost on the available revenue accruable to the federal government to execute its program in the national budget. The lawmaker sought to find out the number of vessels arrested so far for illegal bunkering and their current status. The group chief executive officer of NNPCL Milikari, while responding, noted that there are several illegal crude oil vessels which were intercepted by security agencies. Kiari emphasized the commitment of NNPCL to eradicating corruption from the system and addressing issues like crude oil theft to uphold transparency and ethical standards within the NNPCL. To show the importance of this on the well-being of the economy, the letters of executive order issued by Mr. President last week touches on the issue of contracting cost and cost efficiency in the household oil sector. It is required that we as a nation be able to increase our production volume and at the same time reduce production costs to increase accruals to the government. So honorable the, the bottom line here today is that we want to see how we make a uh, where we sell food at eighty dollars or seventy nine or whatever the price is when we incur cost on paper at $48. So what it means is that whatever is left is what is available for good for the permission. Initially, vessels are arrested, taken to naval dockyards you know, across the country in very many locations, supply anywhere that you can you have a well. You know, it's a liter, Mr. Chairman, of vessels today now. In there are hundreds in these locations today, Mr. Chairman not just 100, in their hundreds. And you can validate this from the Nigerian Navy. We don't even know what to do with them. And it became very obvious that when these vessels eventually get released through legal process sometimes, because sometimes the owners may not be aware that they are vessels, and court process can actually release them, you find out that these same vessels that were arrested do come back and get rearrested again. Mr. So Chairman, at the end, uh, Tindigo, government security intervention process, we all agree that the best thing to do is to destroy them. And that is why there are still arrests that are validated, but the ultimate objective is to, is to raise those vessels down. There's no other way of doing it, Mr. Chairman.